Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, we will be starting with the reading sheet. First of all, let's begin with the big question for this week. The big question is, how do beavers build their homes? How do beavers build their homes? And the vocabulary that are I found that um, they might be a bit difficult for you. The first one is lodge. Lodge is the beaver's home. It's made of wooden sticks. The second vocab is paddle. Paddle is to move through water. Now, let's watch the big question video. How do beavers build their homes? Beavers build their homes, just as we do, out of raw materials. You've probably seen pictures of a beaver home called a lodge. They look like piles of sticks, and you can find them anywhere that there is water and beavers. In rivers, in streams, and in lakes. Beavers paddle around to find branches or small trees that they can cut down. Then they drag this wood back to add to their lodges. And they keep building in this way until their masterpieces are just right. The kinds of homes they need. I bet you never knew that beavers were so busy. This week, you will learn how beavers build their homes in rivers, lakes, and streams. How do you think beavers build their homes? Okay, I would love it if you can share with me your answers to this question um, by videos, by um, drawing, by writing. You can choose whatever suits you best and share it with me. Now let's move on. Okay, um, now we will begin with the reading book. The first page is page 56. If you can open the reading book with me, we will start blending short E words. What is the sound of short vowel E? Eh. Eh. Let's begin with the first word. M. Eh. N. Men. R. E. D. Red. G. E. T. Get. Now, I have two words with short A sound. What is the short A sound? A. A. M. A. T. Mat. A. T. A. Let's move on to the next page, page 57. We have our high frequency words. High frequency words, words I should learn how to write them and read them without spelling. I should memorize them. T H E, the. W A S, was. T O, to. L I K E like F R O M from Now sentences I can read number 1 The man had a big pet Number 2 The pet was a tan dog Number 3 the dog went to run. Number four, dogs like to run. Number five, dogs run from big cats. Now let's start with the story for this week. The title of our story is The Red Egg. Let me repeat it again. The red egg. Please point your finger with me and follow as I read. 
So let's practice together. Let's start with page 59. Ed got a big red hen egg. Ed set the egg on a mat. So what do we see here in this picture? We see a boy and the boy's name is Ed. What does Ed have in his hand? He has a big red hen egg. What did he do with it? He set the egg on a mat. Ed sat on the bed. What can Ed do with the red egg? Now let's look at this sentence here, the last one here. It ends with a question mark. Why does this sentence end with a question mark? Because I am asking, what can Ed do with the red egg? Ed can hop well with the red egg. Hop, egg. Hop, Ed. Hop. Ed can toss the red egg in a big net. Toss it, Ed. So the boy here has a net in his hand and he tosses the egg inside it. Ed can pass the red egg in a tin can. Pass it, Ed. In this picture, Ed is passing the red egg in a tin can to another boy. He can pass it. Ed can set the red egg in a big pot. Set it, Ed. Ed can add ham to the big red hen egg. Ed and Tim can grin. So, Ed and the other boy, his name is Tim. They can add ham to the red hen egg. Ed and Tim can grin. Grin means they can give a big smile.